Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at websites inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we can get started with creating a basic website using CSS, JS, and HTML. Yeah, but before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Visual Studio, of course, is an integrated development environment, ID from Microsoft. It is used to develop programs as well as websites, web apps, web services, and mobile apps. So Visual Studio uses Microsoft software development platforms such as Windows API, Windows Forms, Windows Presentation Foundation, Windows Stores, etc. Yeah, so to get started, you have to download the Visual Studio installer as well as the Visual Studio 2022. So if you can see on the screen, I've got the Visual Studio installer opened. So to get us started, yeah, we're just gonna click on the modifier, yeah? So to, to get us started, we've gotta make sure that we've got this box checked, yeah? So this is actually, will help you build a web application using the ASP.NET call, ASP.NET, HTML, JavaScript, and containers, including Dockers, yeah? So you gotta make sure that you've got this box checked and then you install while downloading. Yeah, so you click on this bit, right? So once that bit is sorted out, yeah, so we close it, then we launch the Visual Studio. So we continue with our code. So here we click on the file and open so we can open a website so here you can you can download your website f f uh, via ftp so you can put your web server then then all the necessary details yeah or you can open it as a file system like as in folder or you can open it from your local eyes yeah so we're just going to keep it here so as you can see we've actually got there's a web there's a website created here but we're just going to click on the on the top folder here and then we're gonna add uh we're gonna click on the create new site so this will actually create a new site website for us so we're just gonna name it yt1 yeah so yt for youtube one so we just it's not really important yeah so we're gonna click on the open so this will just open an empty folder or empty website it's got nothing inside so we right click it and then add new item so this is basically the reason why we actually opening i mean doing this video so as you can see here now we don't have any any ways or any means to add the html css and javascript yeah so you could add the, um, the type scripts uh, text and whatnot yeah so this is how we we saw this so we're just going to close the visual studio right don't save yeah so here we're just going to click on the modify so once we actually select the asp.net and web development we come inside here the installation details yeah so as you can see we've got this opened so we, sp we look at it here so we check on this box yeah dot net framework project and item templates yeah then we also check on this box yeah additional project templates from the previous versions yeah so so once we've got these boxes checked then we click on the modifier yeah so this will take a while while the whole thing downloads and installs so i'm just going to post the video while the whole thing continues so as you can see yeah uh, we've got the download and installation completed so i'm just gonna wait for it to finish up yeah <coughs> so now we've got the download and installation completed so we're just going to go ahead and launch the visual studio again yeah so we continue with our code yeah then we click on the file um yeah open the website so i'm just going to delete this yeah so i'm just going to create a new website so i'm just going to call it yt2 yeah, so we select it. We select it and we open it. So as you can see here now, 
we have we have this um created here with css um folder in it yeah it's not really important so we've got this web.config as well i'm just i'm just gonna close i mean delete the web.config yeah so now what we do is we right click on the css add new item So as you can see here now, we've got all the default templates of uh, JavaScript, HTML, the star sheet, and we've got um, a little bit more content added to it as well. So as you can see, uh, initially we had nothing inside. So we were able to add pretty much everything to get you started with creating a website. Yeah. So what we do is that we, since we are inside a star sheet folder, we're just going to add this style sheet. Yeah. So we're just going to call it style dot css yeah so as you can see we've got this simple style sheet so we could also add a new folder uh, uh we're gonna call it js for javascript yeah so new add new item we should be able to add a javascript so we could just say uh script dot js So as you can see, we've got the JavaScript created as well. So we can come inside the top menu and we create a, we add a new item and HTML. So this will be index dot HTML. So, so as you can see, we get started with very simple stuff. Yeah. So. I mean, once you've, you, 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 you're done with all of it, yeah, you can just drag your CSS inside the head and it will automatically add a link, yeah? So inside the body, which you, norm which you normally do, you could also grab your CSS and put it here. I mean, your JavaScript, yeah? So we, it's got all the, the reference and whatnot, yeah? So as you can see, it's, 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 no, it's not really difficult once you get that uh, there are all the workloads installed uh, you can just get started pretty comfortably and as you can see visual studio is very very productive it, it will help you do more with less time so i hope this actually helped you to get you started creating your website inside of visual studio 2022 i've got lots of videos coming up so i hope you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos so have a lovely morning afternoon evening Wherever you are, peace.